Guys, J Mall from J Mall Pickup. So today we have a nice little fucking freezing cold background here of snow. Um, I am in upstate New York for a day and then I'm going back to New York City. So um, what I want to talk to you today is another really important part. For those of you that watch my tactical game breakdown, the pickup game tactical game breakdown, I want to talk to you about how to do that green box about what to do once you get the girl back to the house, okay? Now this is gonna apply for when you bring a date or day two back to the house, or also when you bring a pole back to the house, all right? So, <clears throat> if you remember in my last video with the tactical game breakdown, I said a lot of guys are confused about what they should be doing back at the house. I mentioned how I had a client that was getting back to the house, he'd be kissing with the girl, they'd be talking, all of a sudden he would stand up and get naked and put on a condom, okay? This is not how you should do it, all right? Um, so what you should be doing. First of all, if you haven't already watched my video on how to set up a wine date straight to the house, okay? There's a set of text sequences. If you follow those, sometimes you're getting an objection and you can, I tell you how to deal with that. So you're gonna have a whole stream of girls coming straight to your house, okay? And watch my tactical game breakdown. It shows you how to get the funnel of leads. So now you have girls coming to the house. Now, and I will later cover pulling, but we'll, we won't deal with that for now because the, this is again, the key to closing lots of fucking new lays and new bangs is dates to the house. Well, actually dates in general, okay? So, <clears throat> um, let's assume she's agreed to come over. It's like seven o'clock on like a Wednesday or some shit like that, right? Doesn't really matter. This applies for any time of day or any, I will just say seven o'clock on Wednesday. So, you should always be texting like an hour before the date, like, hey, I'm about to hop in the shower, um, text when you're on the way, wink face, whatever. That way you can kind of like gauge like how much time you have in case she's running early, she's gonna be there early, make sure you're ready on time, or she's gonna be there late in case you have another date like stacked up, because you're gonna be stacking these, like you're gonna be stacking like two or three dates a day. So if she's running late, you're gonna tell the later girl, oh, sorry, I, I have a work meeting that's running later, I'm just finishing up some work, so you're gonna push that one off. All right, you, you're gonna have to, I'll teach you how to rearrange your schedule, and this is like a very important concept as well, and you're gonna have like floater girl spots in case you have like a flake, you're just gonna be able to hit up the floater and be like, yo, um, come. But, okay, so here's what we do. So she tells each on the way, she rides to the house. And when they first walk in, they've already agreed like beforehand, like we're gonna have a bottle of red, we're gonna have a bottle of white, okay? Now usually when they first walk in, I'll be like, do you wanna do a shot? Like not to like try to get them drunk or anything, it's just like kind of like takes the pressure off. And I'll have, I'll talk about another video, I'll have like a light up bar, usually that's like slowly like pulsing through different colors. And I'll have like each kind of liquor. So I'll have like vodka, gin, rum, whiskey, tequila. Those are like the main ones just in case she doesn't, like if you just have one kind and she doesn't like it, then it's like whatever. Not that the shot is even that important, but that's usually like, this is like the sequence I'm going through. So like we'll do this, she'll be like, oh, tequila, whatever. I'll be like, cheers, we do the tequila shot. And then we just start getting into talking, right? And I'll just go into opening the wine bottle. Now, what I'm doing with the talking is mostly old school, like DHV stories, like straight up. I'm, I'm talking about, I just moved here and I every time, even if I've lived there for years, I always have just moved here. Okay, it's kind of makes you like new to the city, looking to meet new people, that kind of shit. So hey, what's up? I'm 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 new here. Um, I've been like moving all over the place. So I tell her like I just go through the same fucking progression every time. Like, yeah, I moved from New York to London to Philly to Vegas, San Diego to LA to Miami to Puerto Rico to New York, and then all these places in Europe and in Canada. And they're like, holy shit, right? So what does that say? Worldly traveler. But I'm not bragging about it. And I'm like, yeah, like it was cool. London was my favorite place because I went to graduate school there. And that's where I learned how to DJ. And then I was like DJing all over the place in America. Now she knows I'm educated. And these are true things. I did go to grad school in London. Now she knows I'm educated. I really did DJ. You know, they don't have to be true things. So now she's, the DJ thing imports like social status, social proof, fun life, world, world traveler, educated, blah, blah, blah. Plus I'm also like throwing in flirting, right? Like I'm saying like, that's what she said when I can. I'm like, you know, I'm not getting too physical yet. So we open the bottle of wine and, I, and I'm, and i you know, I'll ask her, like after I like say all this impressive shit, I'll be like, oh, so like, what do you do? And she's like, oh, I'm a waitress or like, oh, this or that. I'm like, oh, have you always lived in this this town? And she's like, yeah, I haven't really traveled much. And you're like, oh, that's cool. But it like contrasts like very sharply to like the stuff that I'm talking about. Now, and I'll, if she's wearing like a hot outfit or something with like cleavage or like spandex or something, I'll be like, damn, like I didn't realize you were this sexy. And they're always like, oh. like that's another line I use. I'm like, it's not, I don't call that a nag or anything like that. It's just like a fun little thing. And I actually, a lot of times didn't realize they were that sexy. So like, I'll be like, oh shit, like 
you actually you're actually like pretty hot like and I'll be like don't worry like your pictures online weren't that bad or when I met you at the club it, it wasn't that bad but um um sorry uh but now like holy shit right I'm like they weren't bad before but like this is much better like you're actually fucking hot and they're like, holy shit. And, I'm, and again, I'm like expressing the alpha personality. I'm, I'm not afraid to like say like, you're fucking hot. But I'm not like, damn, you're fucking hot. I'm like, shit, you're fucking hot. Like, come on, let's go. We go sit down on the couch, the one. And now we're sitting like basically next to each other. And like, we're just kind of like drinking the wine and talking and flirting. And like, after like a few minutes, like I started putting my hand on her leg, that kind of shit. Um, you know, poking at her a little bit here and there, like, t- like touching her hand, like being like, damn, let me see your eyes. So, damn, your eyes are really sexy. I'm just asking her shit like, what's your ethnicity? Like, what are the good spots to go out around here? Like, just stupid fucking bullshit like that. Um, you know, but I'm just basically telling, I have all these other examples of DHV type stories, but I think that's important. Again, they can't come across as bragging. And I, I'm also letting through, I'm not just like saying a set of canned scripts. There's just, a, I have a bunch of go-to topics, but this video is more about how you go through the escalation. So after we're drinking, it's usually around for like 10 minutes. Um, sometimes less, sometimes more. Like if she's like looking at you, like and it's like really on, I'll be like, I'll be like, why are you looking at that? And I'll just start making out with her. If she's like kind of hesitant, I might like wait a little bit longer before I, I go to kiss her. But at some point, I'll be like, damn, like you're actually like really cool, right? Like after like you can kind of like feel like you hit like a tipping point, where, like the vibe is now warmed up and things are like kind of on. At that point, I'm going for the kiss. So I'll be like, um, actually, no, 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 that's not true. Well, well, if it's if it's on on the couch, like you go for the kiss. But a lot of times, like once once the vibe's kind of on, I like kind of like grab a little bit and then like I'll be like do you want to do like one more shot and like sometimes they know I'm like well I'm gonna do one like you can just come with me or whatever and that's where I go for the kiss usually so I go over and say she's like no I don't want one or, or she's like I, or I don't like we'll take a half with you or whatever like it's kind of like an isolation within your house like you've now like moved her to the bar and the reason I do that is because I can kind of like pull her in at that point and we're both like standing up so we go over to like the, the bar area that I have set up for the shot and then cheers like to us, whatever. And then like we do it and I'm like, damn, like, let me see your eyes again. Or like, you're fucking cute. Pull her in, start making out. But I don't go for a long makeup there. We just like kiss a little bit. And I like kind of take her by the hand and like lead her back to the couch. And then on the couch, um, we like maybe we'll say like one more word and then just kind of like jump back into making out. And like as we're making out, um, like I usually like will move one of her hands here and like just push it a little bit. And then they usually like bring it down. Or I'll be like, look, look what you did. Like if you're like fucking hard and shit. And then like, she'll start rubbing you. And then I'll be like, do you want to see it? Like, do you want to see the preview, whatever? Like, do you want to, are you curious? And they almost always will say yes, at which point you show them and then they'll start playing with it. You keep making out. At that point, um, I say, are you good with your mouth? So that's, that's like my next line, which is like signaling her to give you a blowjob. So I'm like, are you good with your mouth? And they'll be like, yeah. Like they almost always will say, yeah. Or like, that's what I hear. Or I've never had a complaint. That's like a common response. <laughs> like I never had a complaint and I'll be my counter that is like oh well every girl thinks she's really good but most girls are bad at it which is true even if it wasn't true I'd, I'd still say that because because then she wants to like prove herself and I lower the compliance threshold by saying just give me a little preview so now all of a sudden here she is on the couch and now she's giving you head right and then at that point if she has like a dress or like a skirt or like anything even like somewhat loose fitting pants you can go in from behind and start fingering her playing with her clip while she's like going down on you right it's, it's super easy if it's like a, if it's a dress or anything where you can reach up but if it's not you can either um go in through the back unless it's too tight in which case like after she blows you a bit you undo her pants and you start playing with her clip and so you're playing with her clip while she's blowing you then after like you're both doing that like, a little bit but it doesn't go on for, like, for a long time i'll be like come let's go to the bedroom go to the bedroom sit down or you know Tell her to like, oh, start, start blowing me again. She starts blowing you. And then I'll be like, let me see your ass. That's like the next step to like get her to take her pants off. I'll be like, let me see. Like, are you, do you have a booty back there? Let me see your ass. Like, let me see what kind of underwear you're wearing. And if she's like, no, no. I'll be like, just show me really quick. Just show me a preview. And like, it's the preview thing is like so, so key. It's like such a key line because it gets them to just say, it's like when you have a moving set and you're like two seconds, two seconds. So when you're pulling, you're like, we're just going to go for five minutes. I only live two blocks away. Lowering compliance thresholds. I talk about I, way more detail in my product, how to do this stuff. But these are like some key lines. Okay, so now you're on the bed, or she's she's pulling your pants down. Not like she's like in a thong or whatever, right? You ready? 
a lot of times like I'll pull their shirt off. I forgot to mention that. I'll pull their shirt off and undo their bra like while they're blowing me. And I'll be playing with their tits. So now 